What's up everybody, Rob Outcast once again for the SB Entertainment video channel. In today's episode, we're doing an unboxing of the Once Z Time Double Walled Stainless Steel Coffee Mug. So, um, we just, um, crack this open right now just to see what we got. It's a pretty good deal that I got from Amazon. Um, comes with a spoon. It has this, uh... Nice colorful design, not just um, just your standard stainless steel uh, beverage container. This right here could hold about approximately a little less than uh, two cups worth of coffee. So I purchased um, double wall stainless steel mugs or, or beverage um beverage containers before and I wasn't too happy with this performance because it'll say like it'll it'll keep your uh, beverage warm for I don't know half a day but after an hour or so it's already lukewarm so supposedly this will keep it warm for at least a couple of hours so um what I'm gonna do with this review is um, I'm warming up hot water right now and I'm gonna pit this against my um, Yeti beverage controller, same thing, uh, stainless steel, double walled container. And um, let's see if um, this will keep my hot water warm or hot for at least two hours, like it said. With this right here, I guess it's good for commuters. It actually has a, a cover that not just keeps your drink in place, but it also covers the spout. So um, I wouldn't say this is, I wouldn't necessarily say that this is spill proof, but um, it'll be spill resistant at least. Nice little touch there. And it might help keep it warm also, your drink. Okay. It has this um, rubberized felt bottom, I guess, prevents it from uh, slipping. This has a wider base. Uh, Guess a little bit, you know, um, more stable than the standard stuff out there where it's typically a narrow base and then open wide mouth. This one is almost like a beer mug ish. Comes with uh, your stir, so if you're making your coffee in the office, you at least don't have to keep adding into the landfill by using those disposable stirs. You have your you know, stir specifically comes with it. So that's good for the environment. Let's go ahead and check on the hot water. And um, let's pit this against the Yeti. And uh, put a timer on it. Then we'll check the temperature in the beginning. Then we'll check the temperature again after a couple of hours. Let's see how it does. Okay, so we're back. We got our hot water. Let's do our little experiment here. It's going to feel like science class all over again. So we're going to be pouring about two cups worth of hot water on each. We have our uh, reference point here. This guy's the Yeti. This one's a generic one from Sam's Club. And this one is the one that we got from onesie time. So... Making sure that uh, we have about the same amount of water. To start, we're going to have a, our thermometer here. Let's see um, our temperature reading. So it's starting to normalize at 160. So let's um, put the cover on. That's about 160 degrees. Let's put the cover on and um, leave it covered for about... A couple of hours and then um, let's revisit it and let's see if it's um if it's able to hold up to its claim that it'll keep it warm for at least two hours all right keep that sealed that sealed unfortunately this yeti doesn't have a seal so take it with a grain of salt Let's see what happens. Okay, two hours. We'll be back.
All right, so our alarm just went off. So it's been two hours since uh, we set up our little experiment. Now the moment of truth. Let's go open up our cup. All right, looks like it slowed down a bit. And we're looking at about 110 degrees. So I went from 160 to 110 in two hours. Let's check out the Yeti. Let's put this guy in the Yeti. Which would be our point of reference. Looks like it normalized at 120, 122. Not bad. So given the price difference between the Yeti and this mug, it held up pretty well. Here is a Sam's Club version of the Yeti. About the same as uh about the same as the Yeti. So uh some variables at play here. Maybe it's because of the size of the containers also. But uh, given the fact that price-wise, this guy is pretty much less than the other two. Not bad at all. So another thing, the plastics that are into this mug, they're basically um, BPA-free. So, you know, especially this top part right here, where it will usually come in contact with whatever beverage or, you know, I don't know, soup or oatmeal that you're going to be putting in here. It's, it's going to, you know, maintain its color and um, not retain the smell and taste as well. So that's always a good thing. Not bad. Not bad at all. So I would say this will be good for home and office use, even though in Amazon they have it listed for travel also, I guess. But, um, you know, just looking at the base of this thing, I don't think it's going to fit in your car's cup holder. So that's just something to keep in mind. But um, other than that, I mean, you know, temperature wise, which is that's our main concern. Looks like it held up uh, pretty well as opposed to. Uh, comparing it with a Yeti 10 degree difference but um, overall not bad so that's our uh, quick test and review on the once Z time stainless steel coffee mug that we got from Amazon keep an eye out on it especially um, right now those deals are starting to come up or getting closer to Black Friday it's the end of October definitely um, keep an eye out just in case it goes back on a lightning deal and uh, Thanks for watching. Once again, this is Rob Outcast for the SB Entertainment video channel. Thanks for watching a review. If you haven't done so yet, please make sure to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And uh, feel free to share our videos and spread the love. So um, thanks for watching and peace.